it's I, I like the way that you distinguish between what people go through in terms of small and large traumas. Uh, can you distinguish between those for, for us? Right. So we all d deal almost daily with small traumas, which include conflict, maybe being bullied, maybe your marriage is feeling at risk, maybe you've got a child who you are feeling is out of control, um, maybe you've got a neighbor that's harassing you. Uh, it can be a small trauma to have the neighbor's dog poop on your lawn. You know, those, all those events that are in daily living that irritate us. You know, the person who cuts us off in traffic. It's when we find ourselves constricting ourselves in our body and maybe doing some self-talk that isn't Gandhi-like. That's, <laughs> that's small trauma. Okay. Uh, big T trauma are those events that go so deep and put a, place, put a person in a place of total helplessness and powerlessness. And often their whole being is at risk. And my father, I believe, had undiagnosed post-traumatic stress disorder. So those people that are walking around with post-trauma post, uh, experienced a moment where they were they had no way of getting themselves back into control. They in, often wear in moments where they wear totally helpless. They wear totally powerless. That's the same for rape victims. There aren't choices. I mean, you could maybe scream or not scream. The choices were very, very limited. And so those people are changed. And